Welcome back. Well, it is Wedding Wednesday here on the broadcast. And one of the most important parts of the wedding is the people you have standing next to you. But what are the rules when it comes to being a bridesmaid? Ryan Connor, edit Connor, editor for D Weddings Magazine, is here now with more. Okay, lots of questions. Lots of questions. If you are the bridesmaid, um, let's start with one of the more popular questions about sure. the dress. Sure. So let's talk about who is responsible for purchasing your attire for the big day. The bridesmaid is responsible for purchasing her dress and all of her attire. I know. Now, but let's talk about being the bride. If you have a very expensive designer dress that you just have to have, I don't think that it's appropriate to expect your bridesmaids to pay five, six, seven hundred dollars for a dress. I agree. So let's keep it reasonable for a reasonable dress, for a reasonable bridesmaid's dress, it's the bridesmaid's responsibility. And do you think it's an option if, say you have a color palette that you're working with as a bride, mm -hmm. and I invite you to be in my wedding, wouldn't it be okay to just say, here's the color I'm looking for, Sure. and we're, we're trying to stay long, or we're trying to stay short, Absolutely. so go pick out something that you love that kind of fits within this color palette. I think more brides are moving in that direction because so many people have been scarred with the just horrible, yeah. ugly, I just do not feel comfortable in my dress. And the dress that you're never going to wear again. And the dress again. that you're never so going to wear again. Solves it, right? I'm going to wear it again because I'm not. <laughs> yeah, don't say, oh, you'll wear it again because we won't. Exactly. And I think that's a stuff. huge trend right now, and I think it's a very thoughtful gesture of the bride to put out a color and a style mm -hmm. and let the bridesmaids choose. Maybe they ha already have a dress in their closet right. that they can wear and for the occasion. I personally think it's kind of cool to have a more eclectic look where, you know, the whole the whole look, color-wise, kind of goes together, but everybody's got their different styles. Exactly. So that's maybe a way around exactly. that. Exactly. And my sister's actually getting married in October, and um, she's having three bridesmaids, and we all have very different body types. Mm -hmm. So she picked the same color from the same designer and let us all go in and choose our own dress. Dress. Yeah. So we all got to pick the dress that we felt most comfortable in and that we loved. And so we'll feel special on that That's day, nice. too. That yeah. makes the most sense. Yeah. Um, can we say no if someone asks you to be a bridesmaid and you just really don't have the airfare, you don't have the money for the dress, you, you really just don't want to do it? This is a very tricky question. Um, I think that you can only say no if there is a health concern, a family emergency, or a financial situation. And if the situation is a financial situation, I think it is completely appropriate to talk to the bride about your concern. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the bride will help you out in any area that maybe you need help with, maybe help you purchase your dress or pay for your hotel mm -hmm. room. Um, if the bride really is one of your of your great friends, I think that having that conversation will open up maybe a solution or a way to make it happen. Right. So, okay, so there are ways around it. There if are it's ways a financial around thing, it. But I sort of think that it's the bride and groom's responsibility if you're inviting people to be part of your big day and you're asking them to purchase things to be part of that big day or a plane ticket or whatever, I sort of feel like it's your responsibility to get everybody there and pay for everything. I, <laughs> I mean, work it I, into your wedding budget and pay for it. Maybe completely... you don't get a $5,000 dress. Maybe you get a $1,200 dress and then you bring all your friends in and you buy all their stuff and everybody has a great time. I completely understand where you're coming from. I think that people now are getting a little bit of wedding fatigue. Mm -hmm. If you've been in 15 weddings, you're like, okay, my budget is literally being spent on going to weddings right, and then attending weddings. I can go weddings. on vacation. I totally get that. I totally understand. But it actually, etiquette says that it's not the bride and groom's responsibility to pay for their way to the wedding or to pay for their room. Mm. So etiquette does not say that the bride and groom is responsible for that. But I right. think that at every situation, the bride and groom need to think about what they're asking their guests and their yeah. wedding party to do and well, to be reasonable. And what about just... I mean, is, are people moving in the direction of just having the bride and groom up there? Do you have to have the elaborate, you like don't. the 15 bridesmaids? And I just think that looks, I'm over it. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I think it has a lot to do with age, too. Yeah. A lot of girls who've just graduated from college and are still really great friends with their 15 best friends from they college, and they still yeah. talk to their high school friends. And as you get a little bit older, I think you start to kind of, maybe you don't keep in touch with as many people. Mm -hmm. And so I think... It, I think there is an age yeah. difference there. Yeah. Um, as you get older, you kind of realize that maybe you don't need the 17 sure, people standing next be all to you. About the two of you. Exactly, exactly. You always have such good tips for us, Thank and you. I know that we can find more tips.
tips in um, yes d d weddings .com, if you go to the blog section we'll be talking about bridesmaids and maid of honor responsibilities today oh good and then people can comment and share their exactly. ideas too yes okay and you can read more about this and other details by picking up the latest copy of d weddings magazine on newsstands now or you can always go to dweddings.com and you can also go to dthebroadcast.tv and find all our segments there from